Never a quiet moment in the world of Chelsea Football Club, ladies and gentlemen, and therefore never a quiet moment on football therapy. So welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yan, and I do hope you're doing well. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News here in the Stamford Bridge studio here to discuss what has been a turbulent plot twisting roller coaster of a scenario. Of course, of course, reports coming out from Portugal that the deal was done between Chelsea and Manuel Ugarte of Sporting, the central defensive midfielder that new manager Maurizio Pochettino personally wanted and called the play himself, did preference a move to Chelsea, may even still does preference a move to Chelsea. But in the darkness of the night, Paris Saint-Germain seek their revenge on Chelsea Football Club, maybe after. They were very, very upset in the January transfer window with the Ziyech situation. We're going to talk about what happened, where we go now, what we do. What do we do? Well, fortunately, I'm here to give you the Chelsea news. And should you not be able to watch my video, you should check out the free experience of one football. And I'm delighted to continue to be partnered with one football my sponsor particularly delighted because it is a very easy to use slick light and fast application that of course is totally free uh, and it gives you everything you need with football with transfer news manager news general team news match statistics everything you click the link at the top of the description or scan the qr code that will remain in the corner of this video <clears throat> to check out one football why not mate uh, in between my videos you check out one football, but when I upload, you watch my video, mate. You know, you watch my video. But in between, click the link at the top of the description. Go check out one football now. Ooh as you can hear, I've still got a blocked nose, but it's not going to stop me. That shan't stop me from delivering you the news. So let's talk about it, dear sweet viewer, friend, listener, fan. Reports all over the gaff. Not. From David Ornstein, I saw some social media thing about how Ornstein's radio silence on this is testament. And yes, I doff my cap to David Ornstein. He is the GOAT reporter. When he talks, it is done. When he does not talk, we don't know. So what happened? Let's give you a quick recap. Last week on Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea, of course, are trying to sign two central midfielders. They want both Moises Caicedo from Brighton, Hove Albion. And they also want, of course, what we're talking about, Manuel Ugarte of Sporting, the young 20-year-old Uruguayan midfielder who looks like he was to agree a five-plus-one-year deal. So, PSG, um, so excuse me, Sporting are selling this player this summer. They've come to terms with it. The release clause was 52 million pounds, 60 million euros, and both PSG and Chelsea were willing to pay this fee. No issues there. I think Chelsea might have paid a few extra more million in bonuses to keep Sporting sweet. Perhaps they d achieved that deal by being allowed <clears throat> to pay pay the fee in a certain structure that you know favors us in terms of our financial fair play and amortization, which is our vibe, as we all know. The fee was not a problem. And the player himself, in terms of sporting integrity and ambition, preference to move to this uh, Premier League. Not necessarily Chelsea specifically. He didn't have gooey eyes and, you know, romance for West London and the Chelsea Blue, but he wanted to play in the Premier League. So much so that he was willing to take less money and come to Chelsea. PSG's initial opening contract offer in terms of salary was 5 million euro and uh, Chelsea's initial was 2 million euros. He looked at us and went, look mate, come on, I w I'd prefer to join the Prem but they're offering more than double. Chelsea went, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll give you 3.5 million plus bonuses, which is still less than PSG was offering. But reports riddled the internet and spread that that was enough to convince the young central defensive midfielder to come to the Premier League like he wants to and join Chelsea and make Chelsea manager Maurizio Pochettino very happy who he wanted. This was his guy. Of course, he'd been on the phone to him, as reports suggest. Come to Chelsea. It's going to be great. But in the darkness of night, Qatari-backed Paris Saint-Germain came in with a radically high, sweeping salary 
contract offer. Of course, we already knew that extra money wasn't enough to convince the player to join them over Chelsea. 5 million over 3.5. Unless they doubled their offer to 10 million euros. And that's what the headlines are saying, ladies and gentlemen. The reports are saying that PSG doubled their 5 million euro salary offer to 10. And now Chelsea have withdrawn from the race because it is suggested that Chelsea understood or had a verbal agreement with the player and they all thought this was done. To a degree, it's never done till it's done. But they were like, yeah, this is getting done. And uh, he's turned back to PSG and they're like, we've gone, you know what? Do one, mate. We're sticking by our new ethos. We're not giving out silly wages anymore. We're not giving out silly salaries anymore. In fact, this is the reason why a beloved young Mason Mant is going to Manchester United. We don't do silly salaries anymore. And, you know, we wouldn't do five. Hot dog, we're not going to do ten. You know, maybe the player... Look, man, I, I'm not even going to get mad at the player. Like, you could say players' careers are very short, you know. I think Benzema's going for an £100 million contract in Saudi Arabia. This guy's been offered £10 million at PSG. And, you know, <clears throat> ultimately, I get it. Like, I, I, he didn't have a romantic ambition of playing for Chelsea. He wanted to play in the Premier League, joining Chelsea. This is a young guy that's been offered ridiculous money and I understand him taking it. I don't hold a grudge to the player at all. PSG are reportedly, so say record for the Portuguese publication, that they're still, they hold a bit of a grudge against Chelsea. That They were really, really upset when we failed to get the deal over the line for Hakim Ziyech in January. And it was a bad look for us, I think, because the deal was agreed, everyone wanted it, but we didn't get the papers sent over in time because apparently we were too busy trying to deal with Enzo Fernandez. It's no excuse. It's really, really unprofessional and it looks poor on us. But yeah, they were publicly speaking, Paris Saint-Germain, about the distaste that they held towards Chelsea after that failed move. And maybe this is them seeking revenge. <clears throat> Who knows? I would have thought it's a little bit silly. It probably isn't that because... Uh, but they probably still want Ziyech, you know, and there's probably still a deal to be done with Chelsea in this uh, the, the coming weeks, you know. I'm just going to sip my drink. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> so, there are the, that, that was the reports coming from Portugal. They've doubled the salary. Um, they are annoyed with Chelsea. And Chelsea, in response, has pulled out of the uh, Manuel Ugarte transfer. We were looking at both Caicedo and Ugarte. We wanted both, but now we might only get one, looking like that, almost certainly. Of course, Fabrizio Romano is saying, Chelsea keep a very close eye on Caicedo now. Chelsea will almost certainly be looking for him. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> ben Jacobs has... But came with the exclusive last night saying <clears throat> Chelsea have pulled out. So then they're, they're no longer engaging in this transfer in what they feel is going to be a time wasting exercise in what they feel is going to be an expensive time wasting exercise. Let's move on. That's not the right button. Let's move on. Of course, let me know what you think on Ugarte. We're going to speak about a couple of other things here. A good opportunity to um, request that you subscribe to this channel if you want up-to-date content and uh, you choose to subscribe, then you should hit the bell. And I thank everyone for liking the video and I love reading your comments. I do it most of the day. So, Chelsea are looking to sell Ian Matson, possibly. I, think, I can't remember if I spoke about this yesterday, but fleetingly I'll like, update you. Ian Metz, of course, Chelsea have Kukurea at left back, which we probably won't be able to shift in his form and his expense and his wages. So we will keep Chilwell Kukurea, and I think Hall has a good chance he will stick around the first team and has proven he can play at left back. Uh, 18 years old. Ian Matson would bring good revenue <clears throat> to Chelsea because of his good performances for Burnley. He'd represent more pure profit because he's a academy graduate. Chelsea might put a buyback option in. 
Pochettino is a huge fan of Armando Bria, Chelsea's young striker. Of course, there's quotes that we've referenced here before on the channel from Raheem Sterling saying, this kid is the truth, this kid is different. You haven't seen him yet, but when you do, you'll understand. And Pochettino has a real re belief in uh, Armando Bria, so Saif reports. That's the uh, Cy Phillips is saying that's why Chelsea didn't rush into a January transfer signing for a striker. Pochettino feels he can work with Armando Bria. I think Chelsea will still sign a centre forward, a striker, but they are very, very confident that they'll have two good, high level, conventional number nine options for Pochettino to coach. One being Armando Bria and one being, you know, one else, which is pretty much the opposite of what we had this season. Of course, we've had Detro Fafana and Abamyang. Detro Fafana simply is too raw and hasn't played at a high enough level yet. We all know Abamyang was a mistake. So we'd been rotating with, you know, Kai Havertz, who's not a conventional striker, and even, indeed, Joao Felix at times down the middle, who, of course, isn't a striker. So we'll go from that to Pochettino coaching two conventional number nines, and he is a big, big fan of Armando Bria, which is um, really, really positive to, to hear, basically. So I'll just give you an update on those boys. Let's move on. Lots to get into still. What is Chelsea going to do with a midfielder? <laughs> Shouts from some of the Chelsea fan base for Ethan Ampadu to be looked at in pre-season by Pochettino as maybe another option. We know Pochettino likes to play a 4-2-3-1, so as things stand, we could have Caicedo and, uh, of course, Enzo Fernandez, but there's not much depth there, especially if we're flogging a lot of midfielders. Does that mean someone like Ampadu gets held around the squad? I don't think that's really fair for him because we've had that before. He's had loads of loans. It's tough. Of course, Andre Santos. We spoke about him in yesterday's video, the one before. He is only 18 or 19 now, recently turned 19. But it could work. It could work, Andre Santos. You know, Pochettino could work his magic with him. And maybe Caicedo, Santos, Enzo is enough to rotate in a double pivot. And obviously, you've got the likes of Lewis Hall that could probably do a job in there. Um, <clears throat> etc etc so let me know who you think could be the other options is Moises Caicedo enough with the incoming Andre Santos to hopefully get his work permit let's talk about Havertz a little bit uh, Benzema's confirmed to leave Real Madrid Hazard's confirmed to leave Real Madrid uh, some others as well Asensio I believe um, and they will want to buy a attacking forward and a conventional striker now, I, they want Kai Havertz, and since I've done that video yesterday morning, momentum has grown more and more and more with the story of Kai Havertz going to Real Madrid. Uh, we know Perez has been an admirer of his for a while, <clears throat> and Ancelotti apparently is in love with the player, should you believe, Spanish media. Chelsea, to amortise the rest of his uh, remaining value on the books, need to earn £28 million in his sale. Chelsea have valued him at about £50 million pounds plus add-ons, so that would be healthy for their books. Chelsea will also look at the fact how Bruyer has not featured this season. He'll feel like a new signing next season as a striker. Um, yeah, they, they, he'll, he'll, he's ready to report for pre-season after his injury, essentially. So when they buy a new striker, Nkuku, of course, will play behind the striker. Two conventional strikers... <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, um, Nkuku playing in behind will probably need another option to play there as well. You know, we've got wide forwards and Mudrik. We've got um, Madoake, Sterling. Who knows? Maybe Sterling could even play just in behind the striker. We'll have to see what Pochettino can do. Remember, Pochettino is a coach's coach. But here we are, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Where's the, why is this button not working? Here we go. Let me know what you think. There's positives. There is positives. Levi Carwell coming back. Bruyer coming into the fold. Andre Santos coming back. Uh, Garte was the gaffer's choice, but maybe in a way Chelsea not get, getting taken for a ride financially by PSG and Sporting is a good thing. Maybe, I guess. Um, I'll be very interested to learn your thoughts, feelings and opinions. Havertz gone, of course. <clears throat> Almost looks like that's a real, real strong um, option. 
be very interesting to see with like Mudrick, you know, what is Pochettino going to do with Mudrick? Where is he going to play him? Is he just going to play him in that left channel? News is popping off all the bloody time. So make sure you keep it locked. Do consider subscribing if you choose to do so. Please do hit the bell so you get the first to notified when I upload and you can watch the video because there's so much popping off. You don't want to miss a beat. Do consider checking out One Football. In the meantime, it's free. You just click the link in the top of the description. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one very soon. Peace.